people got the game messed up, man. They think that Holdy is doing this for no for nothing. It's not that he's doing it for nothing. It's that nothing happened to him, uh, so they considered him doing it for nothing. But it's a whole thing going on behind the scenes that people don't pay attention to. But anyway, this is your boy, me. Welcome to the channel where anime and manga means more. And this time we're reviewing One Piece episode 563. Now, if I got it wrong, look at the title. So anyway, uh, no, oh, excuse me. Noah is falling towards Fisherman Island. And uh, everybody, you know, is panicking and stuff like that. Then we got these fights going on. What you call them? Sanji and Jinbei, they fighting against, what's, you, what's the dude? Um, Dosu or Dosha or something. Whatever, the, the giant puffer fish man. And Jinbei, I mean, uh, Sanji's messing him up. He's throwing punches at Sanji and he's dodging him. Jinbei, he comes in. Boom! You know, those bricks to the shin. <laughs> Y'all know what it's like when you when you walk in the room and you don't see that coffee table bang your shin all up and <laughs> right there in the middle. <laughs> That's what happened to it, right? So anyway, he says, you know what? I got surprise for you guys. And he blows all his air up and he puffs out because he's a puffing fish. And he blows out. He's blowing his own, his own, well, not his own people, but the people that he's supposed to be working with away too. And he's talking to Sign. He says, he said, now what, Sanji? Now what? And Sanji's like, why are you talking so fast? Because he's talking real fast. He says, because if I don't, all the air is going to come out of me. Like, as he's talking, you see all the air just shooting out. And he's holding his breath. And then he, Sanji says, the, um, he said, the Kraken's still bigger than you. So he goes in, puffs up more. He's like, now what? Now what? But he's struggling to keep it in. So he's, it's like Sanji is tricking the guy, right? And while he's blowing up, Jinbei's still hitting him all in, in his gut and everything. So they're still fighting him while he's just trying to fight to hold his breath. So that was kind of funny. Um, later on, we get the, uh, this uh, scene where the uh, fishmen, they're talking about they're running from, uh, what's it called? Them? Uh, they're trying to get off the island and whatnot because they know that uh, Noah's coming down. You see the shadow coming. People are panicking. And, but some of the kids, they're actually believing in, you know, Luffy and them. And they're like, they're saving Fishman Island. Let's believe in them. They're not running. They're humans. And, you know, and they're standing up for us. We got to stay here, you know. Then we got Robin. She's up there fighting, you know, some of the fishmen. And Jimbe turned around because one of the, what's the dude, Haman, whatever. He comes out with fish, I mean, uh, like human slaves and have them, you know, them doing his bidding. They're holding him on this chair, you know, everything, you know, stuff like that. And he looks just like what the celestial dragons do. And Jinbei says, yo, Nickel Robin, can you save these people? He's like, she says, but they're human. I thought you got problems with him. He's like, no, I don't. And then he said, I don't like seeing fishmen become the celestial dragons. They're doing exactly the same thing that they, but they hate humans for doing that, but they're doing the same thing. And I like that scene because that was like a powerful little speech he did right there. And Nicole Robin, not, she didn't, she, she, what am I trying to say? She enhanced her power to such a degree, she can, uh, 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 what is it, copy her own body or whatever, make like clones, like shadow clones or something, I don't know. But anyway, she can grow her own body, not just her arm, not just her, her whole body. And she could do it with multiple, like, multiple of her cells. So she releases the fishmen, I mean, the, the human slaves. Her mind gets mad. He's like, oh, it must have been you. And he goes to shoot this net on her. But she disappears. He's like, what's going on? She appears on him. So Nickel Robin, the real Nickel Robin, somewhere out. I don't know where she at. Robin somewhere out there. And she makes two more of herself appear on him. And she snaps his back. So that was decent. That was decent. She so we see, we can see her power done advance to a good level. Now later on we got this scene where some there's the loudspeakers going off. This episode not really much happened, but there's loudspeakers going off. Supposedly they're relaying the message that you know this conversation Luffy had with um what's his name um uh, Fukubashi and the uh, people at the the air factory or whatever that's trying to help out with Noah and people in Fishman Island they see it and whatever and it, it, it inspires them and stuff like that 
Now the conversation goes like this. They figure out what, you know, uh, uh, what's the name, Hody, it really is. That's what, that's what they say. I know what Hody really is. But anyway, anyway um, when he asked them, what did humans do to you that made you really want to just kill all, you know, kill all humans? And he said nothing. They didn't do a thing to me. Now, let me explain this. Because this happens in the black community all the time. Now, people say, well, he's doing it for nothing then. No, he's not. No, he's not. He's not doing it for him. He feels like, I'm going to step up and save my people. That's why, how he feels. Think about it. When you see, like, and I see it all the time in the black community. People watch uh, Emmett Till or Roots or The Color Purple. Um... Any of the number of those other movies where they see like, you know, people getting um their you know, their own race being tortured and stuff like that, and they feel like, you know what? I'm gonna revolutionize Black Panther, you know, all that other junk. Uh uh, I'm gonna do this, we're gonna take down the system. That happens every single day. I see that every day. They're not to the extreme of um what you call them, uh of Hody. You know, nowhere near that extreme. But I see it every day. Somebody will watch a movie and say, they just snatched up my boy Kunta like that and treated him like an animal. Uh, right around, I'm ready to revolutionize and yada, 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 let's march and all the other crap. That happens every single day. Now, the thing with Hody, why he, you know, he'll mess up his own fishman is because of this. Same thing, Mal like, take, like, take uh, Malcolm X. Hody is willing to do things by any means. You know, well, Malcolm X was any means necessary. It's two completely different things. But anyway, he's willing to do anything by any means. That meaning if he uh, had to sacrifice some of the fishmen in order to save the majority of fishmen or, or to destroy the human, whatever his goal is, he's willing to do that. But the main thing is this. He feels like he's a field fisherman and people, you know, the fishmen like Jimbe and whatnot, whatever, they're like house fishmen. You know, because they, they, it seems like, he, he seems like, okay, you got to pick a side. You're, going, you're with fishmen or are you with the humans? Pick one, period. I'm with the fishmen. That's how he feel. And if you release the slaves or you don't, you try to stop me from inflicting the pain that they put on our people, then you're with the humans, period. That's how he feels. So anyway... That's the truth behind holding. But go ahead and leave your comments. Let me know what you think. Rate the video and subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.